to avoid like you know screaming or gnarly you know metal vocals or anything like that too i think we're dark spoken word <laughs> or rapping these songs are you know they were they were written for us first and foremost that's why they were 10 or 12 minutes the songs all have like a driving element but the way that the guitars are would like kind of fly off each other i don't know how there would be a moment where the vocals would be like oh and now the vocals kick back in as like the centerpiece guitars retreat like the vocal line can sort of come to the forefront and be the dominant thing like it just couldn't have happened it would have been like spurts of vocals and places that are so erratically placed that it yeah. wouldn't have seemed like a song. I mean, there were instrumental bands before us. You know, there's Don Caballero, there's Tortoise. There's, you know, there was other bands, you know, that were already doing that. The way I guess we went about it is a little bit slower and a little bit heavier maybe, I don't know. In general, the trajectory is usually, we start picking up the writing where we left off um, from the, the record before. And then once we have a few songs done, we get kind of an idea of what the songs, um, like kind of the, the common threads between them. And we kind of let them suggest to us um, what the theme is. It used to be, you know, we'd check structure some things start to finish and then I'd work on it with Larry and I'd already like shown it to Trevor and then Brian would come in and lay bass parts around it. Now it's a lot more democratic. There's definitely not as much of a rush to have like a complete song when you bring it. You can even bring a couple riffs to the table and everybody feels just inspired and like comfortable enough now to like criticize each other and and say, oh, I've got this that might work with your song. So it's a lot more open-ended, which inadvertently puts less pressure on individual writers and it makes the whole process a lot more collective. It's a lot more fun. It's just gotten easier as time goes on. It's almost like don't even really think about it anymore. It's just kind of like we're there and one of you guys is like, oh, I got this riff. And then, you know, a couple hours later, it's a song. Any one of us could bring whatever to practice uh, in terms of writing. I think it would turn into a Pelican song when we all play on it. We're, we're actually such cool brothers that Trevor and Laurent are jealous and they wish they were brothers. <laughs> Laurent and I both have European fathers, so it's like we're basically like brothers by American <laughs> standards. It's definitely nice for me, for me personally, it's nice, usually nice having family member around, you know, things go, go south at home or whatever. Then you have your brother there. The amount of time we spend together, like not a lot of brothers and sisters do that at this age, you know, most of them are have their own families and things going on now. And we've traveled and gone to Europe and Japan and all these places, you know, like, together. I definitely got to a point after being in the band for 10 years, just being away from home for so long and just all these, like, personal things being like, am I getting from this the same, like, passion and, and drive and fulfillment as I was getting? It's just the hardships of, like, a pretty difficult commitment to art and, and making it happen all the time. Any time in my life that I hit like a low moment like that, there's something that happens with the band that kind of totally reignites that fire and that always happens and it's happened again. So I think I still to this day like feel the same way about this band that I did at the beginning. It's not like teen love, you know, it's more like nurturing an awesome relationship that like you know is, is the right one. Every time we start new material and start doing something new, we all get excited, I think. And I think it kind of starts everything, the whole cycle all over again. The new record is just about kind of us and the things that are going on in our lives and, you know, why we're still in a band together 10 years into it and, you know, the difficulties that we've all had both, like, interpersonally and, uh, you know, just also growing up in a world that sometimes doesn't really reflect the values that we have and uh, realizing that to find like solace and epiphany in music is a really special thing and you learn to treasure that when you're putting the final touches on your record and you realize that you live like that's a pretty blessed life you know to be able to do that. Mm -hmm.